I only managed to shout at him, Honey, look. He looked at me with a mine exploded. I fell down with my face on the ground. There was an extreme noise in my head. Then I turned around and I started to tear off the clothing on me. I thought it would be easier to breathe because there was not enough air for me. My husband rushed to me to provide first aid. They called for an ambulance. The paramedics said they would not take me out of the site and that they would wait for emergency workers to arrive so that they could remove me. My husband said it would take ages. He and my stepfather carried me to the ambulance. I did not want to live. I did not want to live such a life. I have two children. I didn't want them to see me like this. I did not want to be a burden for anyone in my family. But thanks to the support, I accepted it. I need to keep living. It is not the end of life. If God left me alive, that's my destiny. When it happened, it felt like a minute to me. She was wounded. If it wasn't for Oksana, I don't know what would have happened. She was so strong. She didn't faint. It was Oksana who coordinated our actions. When it happened, I gave up in despair. I didn't know what to do. I saw she wasn't moving. I was afraid to lose her. I wanted to cry, but I couldn't cry. I was shocked. I could not comprehend what was happening. It was terrifying to almost lose the person I love.